Even though the topic was birds at the Burnaby Lake Nature House, it was buzzing during spring break 2012. Kids on their spring break are coming down to the nature house today to find out a little bit more about birds and probably uh, build a birdhouse and take it home with them so they can start bird watching in their own yards. Yeah. So you want to finish all your coloring first. Definitely. Using milk cartons, scissors, and a stick, the low-tech bird feeder craft paired artistic pride and practicality. It was part of the free birding activity at Burnaby Park's north entrance off Winston Road. In the Nature House, we have a variety of different um, little displays about birds. So we're also dissecting owl pellets to see what owls have been eating. Outdoors, the activities were all a short walk apart. Up on the viewing tower, we have uh, a little display about eagles, and you can look for the eagle nest that's here at Burnaby Lake. And then a little walk around a loop trail and we've hidden some bird nests that will help you identify what kinds of birds make different kinds, different shapes of nests. I think events like this where you can actually see the, the birds' nests and see skulls and beaks and, um, and, and see the live birds and draw them and all of that is only going to foster that interest, so I think it's wonderful. And the big ones, they're for wood ducks. Being able to get over 100 people today is really, really worthwhile. It's clearly something that people like and enjoy, and lots of the people today have said they're coming back. Lots of people know, okay, that's a duck, but actually being able to know that's that specific kind of duck is kind of exciting. Where do these birds live? Well, they live lots of different places. There's wood ducks. Did you guys see the wood duck nest? They nest in that box right up in that tree over there. It's low cost and increasingly popular. Between 2001 and 2006, U.S. Fish and Wildlife reported an 8% increase in birding. The number of Audubon Society Christmas bird counting events climbs every year, pushing the total well over 2,000. And the movie The Big Year recently brought bird watching to the big screen. A lot of people really like uh, bird watching, being able to identify a bird, put a name to it. It makes them feel familiar. They say, oh, I know what that is. As an easily accessible outdoor activity, the fitness aspect has appeal. But for some, photography is what snaps them up. There's a lot to it, like trying to get them in motion and everything else and to get more detail in the birds and the coloring and all that stuff. So. A lot of people don't realize it, that uh, we've got such a great habitat, you know, and that there's so many birds that do come here, and yeah, you get to appreciate it. Whether bird paparazzi or budding birder, the sense of connection with nature makes them all birds of a feather. Robin, chickadee, blue jay, and I think that's all.